hello everyone in this video i will show you how you can connect your django project with mysql or any other database so this is the boilerplate code of django app that i just created in my pip file i have installed django in it if we view the settings.py file in our uh, mysql underscore db folder you can see that the default database that the django project used is SQLite but if we want to change that database then we need to uh, change some settings here first of all I need uh, I will run this code to show you that it is working fine for running the project I will write the python manage.py run server command it will show you that it has 18 unapplied migrations that I need to apply if I click the server it will show me that the application is successfully running so, so first of all i need to make all these migrations other than that i am creating a new application so that we can also create some custom tables in it so for this purpose let's run python manage.py and start app i am naming this app as users so as you can see it has just created our app users so let's register this app in our installed apps just write the name of application here in my case it is users so in my users app i will create a urls folder so if there are any urls that will land in this folder in my reviews uh, in my reviews file let's create a simple review name it as all users that will return all users registered in database and return a simple response we need to import this from django http so let's return that returning all users We need to import this from django.http. So this is the simple view that I just created. We need to register this view in our uh, urs.py file. So from django.urls uh, import path and from and import the views of the users we need to create a urls patterns list so this is the url that i created when the user hit the slash users endpoint i will be showing it as that uh, returning our users so let's create the model for this users so for creating the models we need to create a class and i am naming it as users for the case of simplicity i am uh, inheriting it from uh, dot models dot model and register some attributes like the user can have the email it should be the email field with the max length of 30 for password feed let's make it as jar field and with the max length of 50 let's create an adder model so that i am naming it as person and same as that uh, it contains two fields like first name and last name models dot jar field and i am giving it max length of 70 and for last name it is also a char field with a max length of 70 so these are the two models that i created for the user uh, for the user model we need to do one more thing after that we are ready to migrate over tables we need to register the urls of the users 
uh, app in our main URLs files. So let's first include uh, the import the include from Django.urls so that it can include the URLs of users app. When the users hit slash users endpoint, I will display the uh, endpoints, uh, the URLs present in my URLs.py file of users. I can register the users URLs by writing the users.urls. So now let's run the server first. Python manage.py run server. So it it has no errors. When I hit slash users, it will show me that uh, returning all users. So the users application is successfully uh, installed in our main uh, settings.py file. So we need to make all these migrations first. First of all, I am using the MySQL uh, uh, SQLite database. That is the default database of the Django application. We need to make the migrations first by running python dot python manage dot py make migrations. It will make all migrations for us. It contains all the uh, default migrations and two migrations and two of a custom migration like it created the uh, users model and the person model. So now we need to migrate these changes. By running python manage.py migrate command. So it has applied all these uh, migrations. So if I open the, the database, and so uh, if you know the uh, SQLite is a file based database, it is not uh, viewable in our VS Code. We need to use some third party uh, software to view it. I am using the DB browser for SQLite. If I open this database in SQL Lite, you can see it contains all the tables. Like it contains the user's person model and it contains the uh, the user's model as well. So we need to change the SQL Lite database to uh, some other database like MySQL, MongoDB, Postgres or any other database. For doing this, we need to go to the settings.py file and we need to make the changes here. Like here it is using uh, uh, SQLite 3 as the engine for database and the name of the database is db.sqlite3 that is this file. We need to make the changes here. For using the MySQL database with the Django app, we need to make the changes here. Like uh, django.db.backends, we need to write MySQL here. For the name of the database, we need to write the name of the database we are try trying to use. So let's create a new database. I am opening my MySQL workbench. Now let's open any of these connections. I am using this Django uh, Django dash practice. Uh, note that the user of this uh, connection is root and it is running on port 3006. Let's open this. And we need to create new MySQL database here. For creating new MySQL database, you need to click on create a new schema and name your database here. Like I am using is at test db. You need to click on apply and apply. So it will create a new database for me. So my database is successfully created with no tables in it. So we need to write the uh, name of the our database here like I am writing it as test db. Let's verify the name first, test underscore db. Okay, we need to add some more options here, like the user of, uh, the user of the connection or the database, the password of the connection, that uh, you they have to use use by initializing the connection the host the port number and some other options as well so these are some of the mandatory options for the user i am 
naming it as root as my uh, user is root for password i have set is as password 123 the host of my connection is the local host that is 127.0.0.1 and my port is 3006 so uh, after uh, doing all these things in our settings.py file we need to do one last thing so we need to install a package and that is our third party library you can view this by searching the pip install uh, pymysql if we open the uh, this official documentation it will show you that how you can install this package for installing it in globally you need to write this pip install pymysql as i am using the virtual environment so i will install it by pip env pip env install pymysql so it will install the pymysql package in my virtual environment uh, it will take some time and install the pymysql in my virtual environment so as you can see the pymysql package is successfully added in our packages list the purpose of this package is to make the connection between the mysql server and our django app we need to do one last thing before we are uh, ready to run our server in the uh, underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file we need to import this uh, client library and we need to call its function that is install as install as mysql db so now we are ready to run our server when i run my server by running the python manage dot py run server command you will see that it contains some new migrations because we just changed our database to uh, mysql so you can see that we have 19 unapplied migrations so we need to make apply these migrations again and then you can see that you will see that these migrations and the tables will be added in our uh, mysql database so let's apply these migrations by running python manage.py make migrations this will apply all the migrations and then we need to run the migrate command so it will apply all these migrations and created all these tables in our mysql database so we need to refresh it refresh all so these are all the tables ended in our mysql database so in this way you can add the mysql database in your django project so if you want to uh, use some other database like postgres or some other database then you can also do this by similar way you just need to create your database on postgres or on my uh, or on any other database and then you need to uh, change this engine by writing just like here postgres and then you need to write the name of the database user password host and the port so in this way you can connect any sql database to your django project thanks for watching